Hi, thanks for watching my video. I'm Kirsten Kloss and I'm a business development consultant for hire. I essentially help you uh, find sales leads using new world technologies and kind of a combination of new world and very classic traditional sales techniques. I've been in this business of uh, lead generation for almost well over 20 years and uh, I've uh, done many different methods. I'm an early adopter of technology. I find new ways and new techniques to find you sales leads. Now, I previously did a video on YouTube uh, regarding extracting lead, uh, lead lists from your LinkedIn lists. Now the process involved grouping of uh, categories of your list and being able to segment that outside of LinkedIn. Uh, that is no longer possible. Unfortunately, LinkedIn changed the way that we group uh, listings and copy and paste information uh, and so it's no longer possible to do this. What you still can do is export your entire list uh, from LinkedIn and engage with them directly. Now that process obviously is bulk mail now so you have to be very careful how you engage your markets but there's there are your lists there's ways to do it effectively and you can always reach out to me and I can offer you some assistance on how to properly engage those lists. I'll show this process essentially in a screen share in a couple seconds here but before I do that I'd like to outline a very underutilized tool uh, that is high very powerful to generate sales leads from tens of thousands of very targeted LinkedIn users and the process involves three steps uh, initial uh, content creation where you're positioned as a subject matter expert and the delivery of highly informative educational information through a video interview that I do. The second step is to build a list using uh, data that's available from within LinkedIn in order to target that information to those that would be most interested in what you're offering and doing so in such a way that your cost per click or cost per connection is extremely low compared to what LinkedIn normally charges per click. And I think it's somewhere between two and five dollars per click typically, often four dollars actually. Now the key is relevance interestingness and targeted information that informs rather than sells very important first step so the second step is to build that list and engage that list and the third step is to follow up with them in various ways that keep you top of mind and following hundreds of these uh, potential leads that engaged you in watching your video following up with them with your solution using banner advertising around the internet. And I'll show this to you if you follow the links uh, in this video, you can actually see how this works firsthand. Uh, it's a very powerful tool and the great thing is that nobody is doing it this way. So it's a great way to actually get you out there, build trust with your potential target market, and basically build lists of new LinkedIn followers. So. That's my process. Um, get into the details here of how to uh, export your list so you can do other things with that list. And I'll just switch to the screen view and you can take a look at it here. So go into your network and into contacts. And when you're in that section, you're going to see all of your contacts here. Uh, up at the top right hand corner, you're going to see a settings gear. You want to click on to that setting and you'll get all of your contacts. You see here I have, uh, these are all my contacts here on LinkedIn. You want to export the LinkedIn contacts. You just go to the top right hand corner. You can export to Microsoft Outlook and that just is a database file essentially and there's various options. Uh, Yahoo Mail, uh, VCF for Mac users, but in my case, I'm just going to send it as a CSV file. That's going to be a straight database that we can convert. So we click export. What's going to happen here is you're going to see it show up here on the bottom left-hand corner if you're on a Mac. Obviously, if you're on a PC, there'll be other uh, cues of where that file might be. Um, so I'm just going to open the file now. What's probably going to happen here is it's going to ask to convert that to a format that your spreadsheet or the software you're opening it with is going to understand. Um, I usually leave it default, but essentially you want a spreadsheet format and uh, you know you can play around with these settings here in order to see you want us to have them so that each cell is a, as a column in your spreadsheet. Uh, click OK and what will happen is it'll open up as a file. Now I'm going to move this over a bit so you don't see the email accounts just for privacy reasons. But you see here the one here on the bottom here on the right here you see there you're going to see the, the email accounts. So here are all the contacts 
exported cleanly into a spreadsheet. And all you're going to have here are your your contacts. And if you have a basic or a premium account with LinkedIn, you're only going to be able to export um, the uh, the first name, the last name, and the email account. Um, there may be more information uh, in in the spreadsheet, but pretty much uh, you're limited. Um, you know, here you got uh, maybe your company name here. Hold on. There, you've got the company name, uh, but that's basically it. There's not much else you can export. It's only going to be, it's limited to, uh, they don't they don't allow you to export the, the contact details unless you have a premium account. Um, but for the purposes of, you know, the, just trying to export your list, it's a great way to export it. Now, once it's exported, that file can then be imported into your email marketing programs, your CRMs, um, various other services. And what I would recommend for anybody that's going to engage with your list outside of LinkedIn, do so with caution because most people on LinkedIn, if they're unaware that you're uh, an account on LinkedIn and you send them email uh, outside of LinkedIn uh, without proper permission, uh, you may actually offend them. And when they are offended, they may flag your email as uh, spam and that can blacklist your email account uh, for further <clears throat> emails. And you don't want that to happen because then you always get uh, bounced email from users that may be uh, sharing uh, anti-spam software. So you have to be real careful and always identify who you are when you direct directly connect with people and uh, offer them an option to not receive your emails if you do send emails outside of LinkedIn. So it's very important that you're aware of that. But that said, these are your contacts. These are you, the people that are following you. They have asked you for permission to communicate with them. And this list essentially is your list of contacts. And LinkedIn freely and openly shares that email list with you as it is your contact list. So you can download it and access that list outside of LinkedIn. So that's essentially how it goes. So in summary, what I'd like to do here is I'd like to offer you um, a special where if you're trying to generate sales leads, now most companies uh, or most individuals who are on LinkedIn, you know, you'll have your, your contact list here on LinkedIn and you'll have a, a nice list, whether, you know, whether you're a sub 500 user or if you just have a few hundred, it's great to have that list to communicate with and engage with. But if you're trying to generate sales leads, um, there's a couple ways to do that on LinkedIn. Obviously, um, if you go into your uh, interest groups um, and you engage people in the interest groups on LinkedIn, you can obviously um, generate sales leads through there. But there is another way to do this, and that's essentially to create very compelling content and to syndicate that content to uh, statistically targeted lists of people who share interests with the topics that you're trying to sell into. So there's a bit of um, intelligence that you need to collect uh, as far as what your target market's interests are. And then what you do basically is you generate content that does a few things. First of all, it sensitizes them, sensitizes you, that, that market to problems they may have and positions you as a subject matter expert in that engagement. And I'm going to show you an example here uh, using my company page. So my company page is New Lucid. I'm going to go to my landing page here on New Lucid. This is my one of my several company pages that I use to uh, promote my business. Now here is an example here, this first one here. Here's an interview I did with uh, Brett Wilson. Now, Brett Wilson is a dragon uh, on Dragon's Den in Canada. It's uh, similar to Shark Den uh, in uh, our Shark Tank in the United States. Uh, he is uh, an entrepreneur. And what I do basically is that we've interviewed Brett and we help him promote his philanthropic work and his book. Uh, but in doing so, I'm aligning myself with him and targeting people that have interests in entrepreneurship in the target market that I'm also involved in. So what I do is I leverage his notoriety and post this video interview where I interviewed Brett, uh, two timelines of entrepreneurs that are involved in entrepreneurship. And if you see here, 
the kind of engagement that I have, uh, even with a test post of a thousand impressions, what I get is a 2% engagement rate. So if you look at a thousand impressions, you're getting 18 clicks of people that are interested in this content. This is very powerful, a, a very effective way of pulling new people from LinkedIn into your network that you can then engage with your products or services. So this group will receive information about my business development assistance and basically helping them do what I do best, which is engage in lead generation. So what I do basically is I pull them in and then uh, bring them to a landing page. When they arrive at that landing page, um, they're going to start seeing my banner advertising, following them around the internet. And of course, watch my video, uh, maybe engage with me on helping them do the same. Now, this is a product. Uh, actually, it's a service that I offer to business owners. And if you're interested in uh, lead generation using this technique. I do have a package that involves an interview where I'll interview you like I did Brett Wilson and uh, position you as a subject matter expert uh, and then take that video and craft a marketing campaign or a sales lead campaign using LinkedIn and I can do it on Facebook. It all depends on what your target market's interest is. Um, if it's pure business, obviously LinkedIn is powerful. If it's a feel-good product or a, uh, a service that uh, applies to a different demographic of users, uh, maybe more in leisure, then uh, Facebook is a, is a good option. That the same technique can be used in. But essentially, once we do that, uh, we can spin that into a full campaign that then builds a list and follows all of those users um, with your banner advertising that solves the problems that you're addressing in the interview. As so. you see here from what I'm talking about with regards to positioning information and delivering it and drawing people out and engaging them uh, with uh, with banner up, banner following uh, follow-up advertising, uh, this is a campaign that's a great offer here to get you started uh, in, in a test campaign to see how well you can engage your market. And on top of it, you end up getting a video that you can use for various other techniques uh, in order to build trust with your target market. So please engage with me here. Follow the links. Uh, there's links in this video. You can follow the links above here uh, and, and connect with me. Uh, I'd be more than happy to spend some time explaining to you a little bit more detail or send you a proposal on, on how we can make this work specifically for your business and your target market to basically help you uh, break into new markets and open up new business opportunities that you otherwise would have never gotten. So I look forward to connecting with you on the inside. Thanks for watching. I'm Kirsten Kloss. Bye for now.